from the brake fluid that this vehicle takes. Uh, only use dot three or dot four from an unopened container. Okay, changing out the brake fluid. 2018 Honda CRV, and I was getting the code A17, which says change the oil, rotate your tires, and change your brake fluid. Dot three brake fluid. Dot three from a sealed container. Removing the screen. You can use a turkey baster or whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and suck it out with my vacuum tool. You can get this at Auto Parts Store and it just creates a vacuum and you can suck the fluid into this uh, reservoir here. Alright, my container's full. So make sure you don't get the uh, fluid into your pump. Be, uh, be aware of how full your can canister is. So if you get it inside your pump, just go ahead and uh, stop and uh, get it out of the suction part of your pump and clean it out real well. That's pretty good. Now we want to take the new brake fluid. We want to fill this reservoir to replenish what we just took out of there. And I'm going to fill it to the top here because I'm going to be flushing some out of the calipers now. So now we go to the calipers <clears throat> and we're going to start with the uh, front left, which is your driver's side. And we're going to bleed the old brake fluid out from this bleeder right here. We're going to start with the front left, then we're going to go front right, and then we're going to go rear right, and then we're going to go rear left. Alright, start by taking the little rubber boot off. Comes off with your fingers. There we go. Get yourself a 10 millimeter wrench. Closed end part. Just want to crack it open just for now. There we go. Alrighty. Now, with my same uh, tool that I used before, there's a little end that will fit on the nipple. Nice, tight fit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull, I'm going to suck this out until the fluid is clean. So I'm going to crack this open, and I'm going to suck it out. And while I'm sucking it, I close the valve. And so now I'm going to create a suction. Okay, I'm going to create another suction, open it up again, and every time I do this I'm going to check the fluid level in my brake reservoir. Alright, so I just did the front right, and as you can see, this brake fluid was a bit murky. Surprised. Only has uh, less than 30,000 miles on the car, and uh, yeah, but it's, it's three years old, so it was time to change the brake fluid. And the new fluid has that clear color to it.
So each time I do a wheel, I top this off. All right, so on the back side, and the back ones aren't pumping as well as the front ones did. It's just sucking way too much air. So I'm going to recruit the help of my son, and he's going to get into the car and pump the brakes. And as he's holding the brake pedal down, then I'll release the bleeder valve. And this is kind of the way I've always done it in the past. But I got Keegan here with me. He's going to help me bleed these brakes. And we're on our final wheel. And I'll go ahead and get in the car. Go ahead and uh, pump down on the brake and just hold it steady. And when I release this, your foot's going to go to the ground and just let it go to the ground. And hold it there. Is it, Are you pushing down? Mm hmm Okay. All right. Do it again. Push down. All right. Do it again. All right. Do it again. Say, say ready when you're ready. Ready. Okay. So we're getting, we're getting some in there. All right. Push down. Ready. Push down. Ready. Next. Next. Ready. All right, next. Ready. All right, next. Ready. Next. Ready. All right, next. Ready. Okay, so now that we're done flushing all four wheels, I want to go ahead and put this screen back in there. And then we want to fill the fluid to where it was when we started. In my case, my was not at max. But it was just... At the low, a little bit above the low level, like that. Okay, so you're you're gonna need a couple of these containers, so make sure you get enough, get at least two, to flush your system. Here is 12 fluid ounces, so you'll need probably get yourself 24 fluid ounces. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and test drive it because I always like to test drive it after I bleed the brakes. I wanna make sure it doesn't feel spongy in any way. All right, so I'm back from my drive. Uh, the car felt fantastic, um, so we're good to go. And uh, as you can see, I used two different techniques. I appreciate you watching my video, and don't forget to press like. And if you like watching my video, please, uh, please subscribe. Thank you.